If you have a video you've created, you can either link or embed that video inside a PowerPoint presentation. To insert a video from your computer, simply jump up to the Insert tab, and in the Media group, you'll see a little icon for Video. Clicking on that, you'll see two options, Online Video and Video from My PC. Now, since I've already created my video file, let's go ahead and click on Video from My PC. And there's that WMV file that we've just created. Let's insert that onto this slide. And we can do that by selecting the file and clicking the Insert button. Now, you do have a couple of options here, and if you click that drop arrow that's right next to that button, you'll see the option to Insert, which will embed that video in your presentation, and Link to File, which will link to that video. Embedding the video will, of course, make your PowerPoint file much larger. But linking the video, if you move either file, either your PowerPoint presentation or the video itself, that link can easily be broken. So really, it depends on what your needs are. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to be embedding that video. So let's go ahead and choose Insert. And there is our video. And it looks like PowerPoint has placed that video as large as possible right on that slide. That's OK. From here, we can go through, resize it, and position it, format it even any way we like within the slide. So let's grab hold of one of those little corner handlebars, and drag it down, and I'm going to place it right in the center of this frame. In addition to resizing, you can apply a number of video styles. From the Video Tools Format tab in the Video Styles group, you can hover your mouse over any one of these styles to view how your video will look with any one of those styles applied. And just like shapes, you can apply a different shape. So if you wanted your video to be shaped like a heart, you could do that if you like. You can apply a video border around that video, or you can apply any number of video effects. And also, like shapes, you can arrange your video with other objects on the slide. So you can place text or other PowerPoint shapes on top of a video, or you can even send that video to the background of your slide. So that's kind of a newer feature. It's not new specifically to PowerPoint 2013, but it is a fairly recent addition. Now, one other way that you can format a video that I want to point out is the ability to change the poster frame. So right now we have the video inserted onto the slide, and this is what it looks like when it's not playing. We have this static image. You can change that. That is what's known as a poster frame. And on the Video Tools Format tab in the Adjust group, right here you can click and change that poster frame to an image from file, or if you uh, click anywhere within that video and pause at a particular point, you can choose the option Current Frame and set that portion as the poster frame for the video. Other options available to you for inserted video will appear on your Playback tab. If there's a particular point in your video that you would like to jump to during your presentation, you can set a bookmark. Or if you'd like to edit existing bookmarks, you can click on a bookmark and choose to remove that bookmark. You can also trim the beginning and end of a video. Clicking the Trim Video button will open up a Trim Video window, allowing you to cut off the beginning or the end of a video. And you can do that by adjusting the sliders that appear at the beginning and end, or by typing in a specific start time and end time. So these aren't heavy duty editing tools. And I do recommend editing your video in a separate program if you do need to make some edits. But this is just a quick on the fly edit that you can make. You can also fade the video in and fade the video out, adjust the volume, choose to play the video full screen, hide the video while it's not playing, loop until stopped, rewind after playing, or you can choose to have the video play automatically once the slide is launched. 
Now, if you've embedded video into your presentation and you notice your file size is a bit large, you can choose to compress all of the media in your presentation. To compress media, simply jump to the File menu and on that Info tab, if you have compressible media inserted into your presentation, you should see this option appear. Clicking the Compress Media button, you can choose the level of quality for compression. You can choose presentation quality, internet quality, or low quality. For the purposes of this demonstration though, I'm going to choose internet quality and that will open up a compress media window and begin the compressing process. When complete, you'll see the initial size compared to the amount of space saved. And that's all there is to compressing media. So as you can see, there are a lot of options available to you for inserting and quickly editing video within PowerPoint.